Welcome back guys, Johnny Keck and Amp Futures. Thank you for tuning in. And we're going to be covering in this segment the, uh, the breakout up and down entry strategy. We've already covered the breakout strategy as well as the fade strategy for the entry strategy section of, the, of our video tutorial series. Uh, the breakout up and down strategy are these two high icons here. It's this one that you see, this little brown, I brown icon right there. That's in relation to the buys. And this one right here, which is in relation to the sell. So the difference between this and the breakout and the fade strategy, the breakout strategy was basically what we're doing. We're placing a buy stop and sell stop around the current market price, anticipating a breakout either to the long side or break down to the short side. A fade strategy is more of the opposite. A sell limit above the market price, a buy limit below the market price. Perhaps you're in anticipating reversals off the high or low. And then you also have the buy uh, breakout up and down entry strategy. So let's focus uh, first on the breakout up fade strategy. So I'm going to left click on that particular icon in the exit strategy uh, entry strategy section. And let's go ahead and read the description. Breakout up fade strategy. Places OCO orders, a buy stop order above the market price, and a buy limit order below the market price. Depending on the price movement, either a buy or a sell is executed and the other one is canceled. It's often used when a trade wants to enter a long position but is not sure if there will be a breakout up or if the price will drop the support level and then go up. So this is pretty much, if you're looking at the description, it looks a little strange. I know it says either a buy or sell is executed, but in this particular strategy, uh, what we're actually doing is we're placing a buy stop order above the market price and a buy limit order below the market price. So it's simply just focusing on long uh, entry positions only. All right, so let's go ahead and right click on the strategy. We're going to go to edit. And you'll notice uh, very similar to the previous entry strategy that we've already demonstrated, the parameters in terms of how to set the values are going to be exactly the same, whether you want to do it in ticks based off last trade price or percentages. All right, okay, so again, if you set the, the values based on ticks or percentages from using these options here, this will always be based off last trade price. All right, and then if you decide to use direct price option, then you just simply type in the price. All right, so if your breakout at would be your buy stop in this particular strategy or lower limit at would be your buy limit. So let's go ahead and use another hypothetical example. Let's place the buy stop at 2082 and uh, we'll place the buy limit at 2067. All right, so again, all hypothetical examples. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to place a buy stop at 2082 and we're going to place a buy limit at 2067. So everything looks correct. We're going to hit save. Now we're going to right click or we'll use the first me method drag and drop, left click, just drag right onto the chart, simply drop, release your left click, confirm the values are correct, we're going to hit play strategy. And now if you notice the color coordination are, are relations to both buy orders. So there's, there's our buy stop at 2082 and there's our buy limit at 2067. Okay, so you can see that the previous strategies that we used, the breakout and the fade, you had both buys and sell orders. In this case, it's just buy entry orders only. So that's what the buy strategy, pretty much what the, the breakout um, up phase strategy is going to do, is it's going to simply focus on just long positions only. And so if you're either, you're either going to anticipate a, a reversal perhaps off this 2067 and go long, or perhaps you're going to anticipate a breakout at 2082 going long. All right, and then if you see if I cancel one leg, OCO is in effect. If you prefer the other option, right click, you can always go to apply strategy. And you can do the same thing. Just confirm your values are correct in prices. You're going to hit place strategy. And now the strategy has been applied. All right, so I'm going to cancel out the orders. And that was the, the first one, the breakout up fade strategy. Let's move on to the breakout down fade strategy, which does the exact opposite, which is only focusing now just on short positions. All right, so let's go ahead and read the short description. Breakout down fade strategy places OCO orders a sell limit order above the market price and a sell stop order below the market price depending on the price movement, either a buy or sell is executed and the other one is canceled. It's often used when a trade wants to enter a short position but is not sure if there will be a breakout, breakout down or if the price will rise to resistance level and then go down. Okay, so we're going to right click on the strategy, go to edit. Same exact procedure, no difference. We're just going to set the, the values here. So let's do the sell limit at 2082. We'll use the same price examples. And we'll place the sell stop at 2067. All right, so again, same concept. If you want to use the tick values, you can do that. Percentages, if, if you prefer that method. If not, you can always use the direct price option instead. So let me go ahead and set those values just once more. 2082 was going to be our sell limit. And our sell stop is going to be at 2067. All right, we're going to save those settings. 
Now we're going to take the left click of the uh, strategy itself, drag it onto the chart while holding down the left click and now release the left click. Confirm the parameters, they look correct. Place strategy. And now if you notice, instead of buy orders, they're now sell orders. So there's our sell limit at 2082 and there's our sell stop at 2067. Okay, so you're into either anticipating a potential reversal off 2082 to go short or you're anticipating a breakout through 27, uh, 2067 there. All right, so you can see that's the difference between the, uh, the breakout down strategy is you're just focusing specifically on short positions versus the breakout up strategy is focusing specifically on long positions only. And that concludes the two strategies that are left. The other, the other icons here, the stop and the limit, uh, let me just cover those very quickly since they are very straightforward. These are necessarily, not necessarily entry strategies because there's only one order that's being implemented. It's either going to be a limit or a stop. So this just really is in relation to placing simple limits and stop, uh, limit and stop orders. All right, so it's not really an advanced strategy. It's just, for example, if you just want to get into a position using a stop order or you want to get into a position using a regular limit order, but you don't want to have any OCO entry order applied, the limit and stop is just simply a basic order type that you can use under place order under the entry strategy section with the multicharts.net. And this concludes the entry order se uh, strategy section. Let's move on to the exit strategies in our next segment, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. <music>